Did you know? Many people think a face transplant is just sticking someone else's face on you. Sounds like a mask, right? But it's far more complex. Face transplants are usually for people with severe injuries, like car accidents, burns, or diseases that destroyed facial tissue. This isn't cosmetic. It restores the ability to express, speak, and eat. Before surgery, doctors need a highly compatible donor matching blood type, bone structure, and skin tone, like finding the perfect puzzle piece. In the operating room, two teams work together. One carefully removes the donor's skin, muscles, blood vessels, nerves, and sometimes bone. The other clears damaged tissue, like tearing down walls to make space for a new house. The hardest part is reconnecting tiny blood vessels and nerves as thin as a hair, like rewiring and replumbing a high-tech home. Every millimeter counts and surgery can last over 20 hours. Afterward, patients need lifelong anti-rejection medication and long rehab to relearn smiling, speaking, and blinking. Things we do daily, but for them, it's relearning life. A face transplant is a medical miracle, and for many, a fresh start. But it's high risk, long, and not for everyone. If you're considering it, talk with a professional doctor to confirm if it's right for you. A careful scientific evaluation is the safest way forward.